out in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering acting on information presented, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. Get ready for the radio show that tells you what Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Oh, I'm a money magnet. Money, money, money coming to me. Money set me free. I'm a money magnet. Money, 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 money coming to me. It's your daily dose of how to manage your money. And now it's time for Phil's Gang on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. With your host... Bill Grandy. Well, I think so far so good. Um, you know, it wasn't too long ago when people on shows like this were saying that we were going to be having hyperinflation and huge stock market bubbles and dollar collapse and all kinds of terrible things were going to come. Uh, but in fact, it's gone pretty smoothly. Uh, the Fed is on the process of exiting from easy money. The economy is doing pretty well. The unemployment rate is 4.5%. Inflation is close to the Fed's target. All those things are on, on track. Yeah, this is the same dope, Ben Bernanke, who was speaking this morning on CNBC, the same dope who told us, oh, there will never be a housing crash. Not in this country. Prices will never go down. So we have so many economists coming on our air and saying, oh, this is a bubble and it's going to burst. Well, I, I guess I don't buy your premise. The same dope. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Welcome to Phil's Gang, coast to coast around the country, off the Wall Street Radio Network. Boy, this weekend, I did a lot of thinking as I was watching these financial shows and talk shows and the first hundred days, which, by the way, make sure you get your ticket if you already haven't. Join myself, Mike Gallagher, Larry Elder, Captain Bruce, and Bill Bunkley at the Michaels on uh, East. It's going to be Wednesday, May 10th. Uh, the VIP reception starts at 5.30, It's main, the main event, 7 to 9. Make sure you get your tickets. So go to my site, philsgang.com. Really looking forward to being all my gang members and listeners who are not gang members. And we're going to have a good night. And uh, Bunkley and, and, uh, and Matt Bruce and Gallagher and all of them are going to have a good time. Just ask us questions. We're going to, And I'm going to be very honest about the first 100 days because I'm starting to look at things a little bit different. If you recall, I've been saying all along that you know I support Trump. And he's been a friend to me, and he's uh, uh, done some good things for me, and he's, he's been a good guy. And he's helped me throughout the years. But I'm going to tell it the way it is. And I see some disturbing things that are going on that, that I don't like. Uh, first of all, this this week, or this weekend, I'm watching and listening. And, you know, his. do you remember, <clears throat> let me back up, do you remember when Trump said this? But I think we're in a big, fat, juicy bubble. And then he changed his mind and said this. Take a look at what's going on with the stock market. Trillions of dollars of value have been created since I won the election. I mean, trillions. Well, wait a minute. Then I was a little disturbed by that. I said, wait a minute. What's he doing taking credit for the market? That's the last thing he should be doing. It's a big, fat, ugly bubble. It's engineered. Our financial markets are engineered. Hey, proof. Just look what's going on. We had a seven-tenths of one percent uh, growth in the first quarter of this year. The stock market on Friday, when they came out with that number, should have been down 500 points. It should be down 200 points this morning. It said the market's going up. It's going up. Why? Because the, the Federal Reserve, the 148 richest people in the world, control the markets through quantitative easing, which we still have. Quantitative easing, a fancy word for nothing more than, the, the, than how the, um, the 148 people that control the Federal Reserve, which is no more federal than Federal, federal Express, it's a private company, banksters, a group of ugly people, vicious people, only look out for themselves, they they engineer what's going on. And if they want the market to go up, they it goes up. They meet. They meet every day. It's called the plunger's team. They meet every day to decide where the market's going to go. It's financially engineered. But let me get back to to where I, when, when Trump made that statement, that really disturbed me. And by the way, the stock market since our election is through the roof. I believe we have a record from the time we got elected, from November 8th. We have a record, an all-time record, for the biggest increase in the stock market. So I'm very happy about that. Because I thought we were going to get rid of all this. I thought we were going to get rid of quantitative easing, which, again, is a way to, to prop up the market. Now, I understand what was going on and what's in everybody's head. We have what they call, and I talked about this last week, and I said to you, I'm the only one that's ever talking about this. We have what we call multi, multi, multi-employer pensions. And multi-employer pensions, that's, a, that, that's uh, where if you 
work for a company or government or uh, you work for a construction company or entertainment company out in Las Vegas, healthcare, manufacturing, retail food, transportation, all these unions and so forth, they have all these pensions. Well, the pension funds are in real deep trouble. They're in a hole by $150 billion. Companies have been using that money. Companies have been stealing your pension fund money. And why? Because they know all they have to do is file it as insolvent in the independent agency of the United States called the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation just takes it, assigns it to, takes your pension, assigns it to this independent agency, which is really an insurance agency, and you and me, we're the ones, the taxpayers, we pick up your pension. Matter of fact, last year, we had 69, I mean, 2015, we had 69 single employer pension plans failed. 69. And the PBGC, which is the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, which you and I are funding, it's an insurance company that a company knows that they're going to go bust. What they do is take and they transfer your pension to this insurance agency, okay, of the United States, and therefore you start getting payments, lesser payments than you're supposed to get because the pension funds are all going bust. So what they've been doing is propping up the stock market. A lot of the reason why they propped the stock market up since 2008 and they did quantitative easing to prop the market up is to save these pension funds. I mean, you got 10 million people on these pensions that they're going to, that they're going broke, insolvent. There's about 1,300 programs, mainly, as I say, construction, entertainment, healthcare, manufacturing, retail, da da da. Okay. They have assets of about four hundred fifty billion, but their liabilities are six hundred billion. So they're broke. So they've been propping up the stock market, the Federal Reserve, to make sure that these pensions you gotta keep the stock price up. Well I thought when Trump came in all this was going to stop. And then I got disturbed when Obama Remember, Obama gave trillions of dollars to bail out these banksters who are now paying him $400,000 for a 30-minute speech. He gave them billions of dollars to bail these banksters out who are the ones who caused the, the problem, the mess. And I thought, well, with Trump now being president, that he would get rid of these guys. And he said he was going to. He called them every name in the book. But then I find out he surrounds himself. He brings to the White House. He meets at the White House the same CEOs of the same banks, J.P. Morgan's, Jamie Dimon, Blackstone, Steve Schwarzman, BlackRock's Larry Fink, the same banksters that were responsible with about six other, there's about nine largest banks in the United States, and these are the guys that, that, that he brought into the White House to discuss with them. And remember, they, these are the guys that cost eight, caused 8.7 million people to lose their jobs, 12 million homes to be foreclosed on, and destroyed $41 trillion in wealth. So he brings them to the White House to discuss with them the Dodd-Frank Act and the fiduciary rules that they were going to change, asking for their advice. That's bringing the fox into the chicken coop. Are you out of your mind? I go, what's he doing? What's going on? He, look, at, I support Trump's extreme venting, vetting for the immigrants. And remember, we're doing it for our safety. What the hell is he bringing these people in the White House for? We should, he should be extreme vetting these banksters. If, you, if we're extreme vetting the inter, in, immigrants to, for, for protection, shouldn't we extre, be extreme vetting these banksters instead of bringing them to the White House and ask them how they would rearrange Dodd-Frank Act and the fiduciary rules requiring an, an investment advisors? I'm like, well, what's going on here? What's going on here? So thank God, and I'm going to explain, thank God we use charts so we don't have to worry what's going on here. More when we get back on the 100 days. What the hell's going on? Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 
BillsGang.com. What are people saying? I've been in the financial business myself about 24 years. Very much enjoy the software program for the charts. I love the new MV charts on Phil's software, and I'm making profits using them. Complete guidance and professional education for investors who want to succeed in the stock market. I love your new MV1, making lots of profits. I love the charts. You know, I'm limited with time. Real good as far as, like, uh, just looking at the... Uh, Whatever ticker tells me right away. I've always enjoyed Phil's straightforwardness and talk about what's really going on. The new MV1 and MV2 charting software. I particularly like the pre- and post-market candlesticks. You guys have always been great on the service side. I can't say enough about the service side. Don't wait. Sign up for Phil's gang today. Give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. BillsGang.com. What are people saying? Hi, this is uh, Ron from Washington State, and I subscribe to the uh, Phil's Gang MV2, and I just wanted to let Phil know that uh, right after the election, I made uh, $7,000 profit using the MV2 on uh, Wells Fargo stock. Complete guidance and professional education for investors who want to succeed in the stock market. I've been in the financial business myself about 24 years, and uh, very much enjoy the software program for the charts. I've been a long time uh, Phil subscriber and I just want to recommend it uh, to anybody out there. I think it's a wonderful tool and works very, very well. Don't wait. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. If you're looking to make extra income, if you're looking to pay off bills and plan for your retirement, then check out PhilsGang.com. PhilsGang.com is an online educational service that informs you, coaches you, and guides you on how to invest in the stock market. Get daily advice to buy stocks, short stocks, and learn when to get out of your positions. PhilsGang.com provides daily webinars, alerts, educational tutorials, and all materials archived. For more information, go to PhilsGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Performing technical analysis is no easy task for any investor unless conducted with a professional stock charting service. At Phil's Gang, we offer a choice of high-power, color-coded stock charts, all seamlessly integrated, so you can tackle the market the way you want to. The Phil's Gang Max Best 1000 Stock Charts from Phil's Gang are high-performance HTML5 web-based charts that work on any browser and device, so you can put live streaming data and fully interactive charts in the palm of your hand. Phil Grandy designed the MV software to have the best features, and so far the early reviews have been great. You can plot charts on an intraday basis as well as on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annual basis. There is also a built-in watch list that you can customize to your liking. For more information, go to philsgang.com, philsgang.com, or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264, 877-600-4264. It took me a long time to be able to say Chandler has cancer because that is such a scary word. When St. Jude finds something that works well with a certain cancer, they share that with everybody. And knowing that we don't have to pay for all of the medical expenses, that's huge. We just have to worry about helping Chandler and he's just my heart. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures, saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. Billsgang.com. What are people saying? Hi, this is uh, Ron from Washington State, and I subscribe to the uh, Phil's Gang MV2, and I just wanted to let Phil know that uh, right after the election, I made uh, $7,000 profit using the MV2 on uh, Wells Fargo stock. Complete guidance and professional education for investors who want to succeed in the stock market. I've been in the financial business myself about 24 years and uh, very much enjoy the software program for the charts. I've been a long time uh, Phil's subscriber and I just want to recommend it uh, to anybody out there. I think it's a wonderful tool and works very, very well. Don't wait. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264.
Welcome back. This segment of the Phil's Gang Show is brought to you by the MV Stock Charts. For more information, go to philsgang.com. 16 million jobs, 4.5% unemployment, inflation is fine, uh, stock market's up, housing market, all those things are looking good. Looking good? This is the ga- same guy, remember, I told you, who said this in 2005. So we have so many economists coming on our air and saying, oh, this is a bubble and it's going to burst and this is going to be a real issue for the economy. Some say it could even cause a recession at some point. Well, I, I guess I don't buy your premise. It's a pretty unlikely possibility. We've never had a decline in house prices on a nationwide, a nationwide basis. So why are we so lucky to bring on the same guy, Ben Bernanke, to CNBC this morning, and we're going to listen to him again? to saying everything is fine? Are you kidding? This guy that's responsible for, losing, for wiping out $41 trillion of Main Street American wealth? The guy responsible for 12 million people losing their home? Are you kidding? Now we're going to, oh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. We have the weakest CPI, PPI, and GDP at 7 tenths of 1% we, that, that ever before. Our housing starts are weak. Our factory orders are terrible. We have the highest credit card delinquencies at, at, at a four year high, the highest subprime, subprime auto loans delinquency. Almost 40% of every loan out there, subprime loan, is now not making their payments. With the highest student loan delinquency ever. Last week I talked about how many uh, parents are, are stuck on the loans of the millennials who stay home and sleep all day, don't work all day because they're not on the hook. Their parents are on the hook. We have the worst durable goods number, which tells us and projects in the future how well the economy is doing and is saying it sucks. And productivity is the worst in 10 years, and productivity tells us how our wages are doing and how they're going to be in the future. It says it sucked, which is <laughs> which is defined by the 7 tenths of 1% growth. And he comes out and says everything is good. You know, as I said, I'm starting to smell something here. And the stock market goes up on a 7 tenths of 1%. Are you, are you kidding? How does the market go up when they report 7 tenths of 1%? Oh, the market went up because we had the French rally. They used the French rally, Aunt B used the French rally to mask how bad this economy is doing. And they're engineering this economy. That's what gets me. Our economy was never, remember, our economy, okay, was designed to reward the banksters, the one percentile, to reward the rich, not Main Street. It was designed to destroy the middle class. Exactly what Obama was doing. And and what it does is designed to finance deficits. What are you, crazy? Think about our economy, how it's been designed to tell Congress, go spend and and spend a trillion dollars more a year than you take in. Trump is now going to be spending twice that than he takes in because he's not doing any spending cuts, which is nuts. And now they're telling him, his advisors, don't worry about spending cuts because as long as you cut taxes from 35 to 15 percent, the economy is going to grow so big, 4 or 5 percent, you don't have to cut any expenses. That is so stupid. Middle income tax cut, a priority of the president. Simplification. Business tax reform. We need to make business taxes competitive, and we expect with doing that we will bring back trillions of dollars from offshore. You got to cut expenses. You got to cut expenses at your home too, don't you? Oh, it's different with government. So he's going to go and double from a trillion to two trillion the deficits. And, and, and what what this economy really is? It's designed to f- fail, and it's designed to support a welfare state through this stupid Federal Reserve. That's a private banking company. That's a, a, a banking cartel controlled by the 148 richest people in the world. Are you kidding? Then you've got idiots like Bernie Sanders. He was talking about how we have too much freedom, too much capitalism in this country. No wonder all the kids on the campus are, kids on campus are going to socialism. Listen to idiots like Bernie Sanders telling them, we have too much freedom, too much capitalism. No, we don't. We don't have too much freedom, too much capitalism. Are you nuts? There's too much government. We've got to get rid of government. And too much intervening where they're planning the economy. 
which they plan the stock market to rally when they want it to rally by doing quantitative easing, by printing money and giving it to banks and tell them to go out and loan it. And they have no basis, no cost basis. Wouldn't you love to be a business where you don't have any cost for your material and you, and you can sell it at 100% markup? Can you imagine the banks get money at no cost, zero, and they loan it on credit cards at 24% and they have no cost? Or they loan a commercial loan at 8%, they have no cost. And therefore, the banks, that's, re- that's engineered to do that so that the bank stocks go up. And when bank stocks go up, all stocks go up. And that's what the, Fe- that's what the Federal Reserve is there do- to do, called quantitative easing, to make sure they pop, prop up the stock market so the one percentile can get rich. And when they gave all that money to, to CEOs, of the big companies, they put the money in their pocket rather than put it into companies so you get wage increases and we grow the economy. See, I thought Trump was going to do all that, but when he brings to the White House, when he brings to the White House these banksters from J.P. Morgan and Blackstone and the rest of them, he brings into the White House. And think about it. I talked about this on Friday, how these banksters, if you remember the savings and loan. They all went to jail, the banksters. But when Obama became president, the nine largest bankers who caused all these problems, who caused you to lose your home, who caused this financial crisis, not one of them went to jail. Why? Because part of the deal was to support President Obama-elect's campaign to fund it. The banker said, we want to make sure you bring in your best friend, Holder, make him the attorney general because we're afraid that there's somebody else is going to get appointed like during the savings and loan crisis. Everybody went to jail, and they had to reimburse all the money they stole. We don't want to reimburse the money we stole. We don't want to go to jail. So bring in Holder, make him ahead of the uh, attorney general, and we'll fund you. We're talking who? We're talking the Federal Reserve. That's who. That's the, these are the guys that own this private bank. What are you, nuts? So when I heard this weekend... President Trump's son going around saying and taking credit for a stock for the stock market rally. I'm going. Wait a minute. Are we going back to another QE? What's going on here? We'll be back. Take a look at some stuff. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at eight seven seven six hundred GANG. If you're looking to make extra income, if you're looking to pay off bills and plan for your retirement, then check out philsgang.com. philsgang.com is an online educational service that informs you, coaches you, and guides you on how to invest in the stock market. Get daily advice to buy stocks, short stocks, and learn when to get out of your positions. philsgang.com provides daily webinars, alerts, educational tutorials, and all materials archived. For more information, go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy of Phil's Gang. I got a great opportunity for those people who are disgusted with the market, who don't have time to learn. What you do is follow me in the exchange traded fund that I'm invested in. Every day you go to my site and you can see exactly what I am doing with my investment and you can mimic me. Nobody else dares do that. Join the gang, philsgang.com. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Let me ask you, could you use a little extra money? Well, of course you could. Everybody could use that extra revenue to pay the bills, pay down debt, or save for retirement. With philsgang.com, we help you make that extra income in the stock market. For over 15 years, Phil Grandy and the philsgang.com team have helped folks who are interested in learning short-term and long-term investing by providing professional-level charting skills and strategies. philsgang.com is your number one source to learn, invest, and profit in the stock market. Market. And you can do this for only $39.95 a month. With philsgang.com, you learn how to invest in the market. You get daily investment coaching guidance, and you will learn to invest and trade with us, skills and confidence of the pros. Just log on and get daily investment instructions and make profits. Plus, all philsgang.com material is archived for your convenience. Go to philsgang.com to join or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Call today. 
Bill's Gang offers one of the best collections of charts available on the Internet. We built the Max Best software to have the best features, and so far, the early reviews have been great. So don't just be an investor. Be a Max Investor with Phil's Gang Max Investor 1000 Stock Charts. For more information, simply go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. It took me a long time to be able to say Chandler has cancer because that is such a scary word. St. Jude takes care of absolutely everything. And knowing that we don't have to pay for all of the medical expenses, that's huge. St. Jude allowed me to focus on being a mom to Bryce. And sometimes I'm just in awe of the impact St. Jude has, not only on this community, but the world. St. Jude is uniquely positioned to advance the cures of pediatric cancer, I think better than any other institution in the world. The contributions make a big difference. Donors are important to us because you get the feeling that you have a team behind you. We have the resources and we have the focus. And so if St. Jude doesn't do it, who will? St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures. Saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. Are you ready to get serious about your financial future? You know, reduce your debt, pay off those student loans, and prepare for retirement. Taking control of your finances can be intimidating, but with philsgang.com, you will be educated and guided to make smart investment decisions in the stock market. If the market is up or down, philsgang.com is the only source where you'll learn how to trade stocks and how to invest in the stock market using professional-level skills and strategies. For more information, go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG, 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Hi, I'm Phil Granny at philsgang.com. We're offering the most powerful stock charts available on the market, the Max Best 1000 charts. Now, the difference between these charts and all the other charts is this follows the money. Yes, it gives you a buy-sell signal. I know you're going to say, well, they all do. No, no, not true. The difference with the Max Best is they follow the important money, the hedge funds, the biggest banks, the 401Ks, the pension fund managers. That's the big difference. They're not following the emotion. That's what most charts do. They follow the money. That's what MaxVest does, follows the money. Check it out. Join my gang, philsgang.com. Oh, and the chart is low as nineteen ninety five a month. For more information, just go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-GANG. We will see you on the charts. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Welcome back. This segment of the Phil's Gang Show is brought to you by the MV Stock Charts. For more information, go to philsgang.com. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. Rob Reiner it was on Bill Marshall, and they asked him if he had any problem with Obama uh, getting $400,000 for a speech. And both Meyer and Reiner are talking about, well, you know, no, because he, he really regulated Wall Street. No, he didn't. current president is trying to undo all of his Wall Street regulation. And then he goes to Wall Street and takes one. Isn't that what sort of cost Hillary the election? Are those horrible speeches she made? The difference is, are you in the pocket of right. Wall she's Street? Running for, and she's running for office. Things. He's not running for anything right now. And It kind of looks like when he's on our team, we're okay with it. No, no, I don't feel that way. I mean, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, Rob. These guys don't get it. President Obama gave a gift of $41 trillion to these banksters. I did not run for office to be helping out a bunch of uh, you know, fat cat bankers on Wall Street. Lie, lie, lie. Lie, 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 lie. $41 trillion. He gave them a gift because he didn't change the regulations. He gave them the... He gave them a gift. He gave them quantitative easing. He goes to the Federal Reserve for decades and could not be and says, print all the money for these guys, give them to them free so they have no cost. We made a decision back in 2008, early 2009. We were going to have a wealth effect. That was achieved. We made wealthy yeah. people wealthier. Yeah. But the point is it didn't trickle down. And they got windfall profits of $41 because they had no cost out of their money. He didn't, he didn't 
tr- there's no way that Obama go in and regulate Wall Street. He gave them a gift. These guys should stick with what they are, jokes. They're both jokes. They don't get it. Let's go to the charts, because let me tell you one thing. Whatever Trump is up to or not up to, because I'm getting mixed messages here, all I know, there's a lot of people, like I just explained, there's 10 million people have pension funds, that the pension funds are broke. You may not get your pension, and if the company goes broke, they put you in, they, they transfer your pension to an insurance company which is the Benefit Guarantee Corporation, which is owned by the United States government, which is owned by us, the taxpayers, and then we'll pay you like a third of what you're supposed to get. And that's what most of these companies are doing. They're throwing, they're transferring their pensions into the insurance company. Oh, we can't pay it. We give up. We'll give it to the insurance company. This is all being caused by the Federal Reserve. So whether we're going to have another explosive rally which we will if I smell Trump leading to another QE because he knows his deficits are going to be double that of Obama. And the only way he can keep the stock market from crashing is do quantitative easing, keep giving banks money at low rates so they can make a fortune to prop the stock market up to prop up the fake economy for eight years like the past eight years. And if that's the case, if you're with me, you're going to make money because we follow the charts. We don't follow the noise. When I see the big institutions, all of a sudden, if we see the banks in the next few weeks break out to new highs and we see the S&P break out to new highs, then we know the gig's up, that he's going to go for another quantitative easing and we're going to go for another eight years. The market will probably double. Then at some point, we go into one of the biggest, deepest depressions ever. You can't avoid the correction. The correction is is locked in place because the deficits are there, the malinvestment, interest rates have been too low too long. The only thing he can do is allow the recession to come and get get it over with, liquidate the debt. Because you're not growing your economy and you're only growing the stock market to help out the richest people and not Main Street, you're really screwed. I mean, is it proof that we only grew at 7 tenths of 1%? GDP annualized comes in with a significant downside surprise. 0.7% is the annualized read. So here's what we do instead. We follow money. Just follow the money so that we can retire. We don't care what Trump is going to do. Example, two of our stocks, Goldman Sachs. Take Goldman Sachs. We're in that stock every day. And you should join my gang so you follow me. Just do what I do. Goldman Sachs, give you a great example. We saw money coming out of that stock left and right. Then all of a sudden we saw money going in. And and Goldman Sachs rallied 7%. But here was the beautiful thing. Following the money, using the algorithm, the charts point out when the institutions, the J.P. Morgans, the Dodger Cox, the Northern Trust, the Black Rocks, when they're pulling their money out, when, when BlackRock Larry Fink is pulling his money out and Blackstone Steve Schwarzman is pulling their money out and J.P. Morgan, Jamie Dimon, who met with the president at the White House, who President Obama, I, I mean President Trump, I can believe asking for their advice. When they pull their money out, we see it. That's the beautiful thing about my chart. And look what happened with Goldman Sachs. It dropped. It dropped 16% after we got a gain of of. of, of of uh, 7%. We had a 7% gain, but it told us to get out. Isn't that a beautiful thing? But even better than telling us to get out, we just switch our position to a short position to make money on the way down. We did the same thing with Johnson & Johnson. This is what you got to worry about. See, don't listen to this nonsense. I, I don't think anybody's going to be out. I, I, don't, I hate to say this. I hope I'm all wrong. But, not, but the, what I'm seeing happening... This weekend, when I see Trump's son out there uh, uh, embracing the stock market, it's telling me they're going to do a QE to run this market up for the banks again to hold up the economy so they can go out and spend twice the amount of money or go into debt twice the amount as as, as Obama did to get their, their uh, uh, package done. Johnson & Johnson, another great example. Johnson & Johnson, one of our stocks, we saw money coming in from all the institutions, and the stock went up 
17%. But the beautiful thing is, guess what? We got a message from the market. It turned red and told us these guys are pulling their money out. We better pull our money out. And it dropped 6%. So not only did we safeguard our 17% gains, I'm not saying every gang member made 17%. Some gang members don't get in exactly when it's green. Some maybe got, instead of 17, made 10%. Some maybe made 5%, depending on where they got in. But when it turns green, it turns green. It's up to the gang member when he wants to get in while it's green. He can decide. But if a person got in when it did turn green and got out when it turned red, he made a 7% return on, on Goldman Sachs. Then when Goldman Sachs dropped 16%, he could have shorted and made 16% the other way. Johnson & Johnson went up 17%, and now it's dropped 6%. So if you didn't want to short it, you at least protected yourself. You didn't give back that 6%. But if you wanted to make money, then just short it. But my point is, who's who's controlling this market to go up? If you look at the S&P, Trump had a 14% rally, right? And then all of a sudden, the rally starts breaking down. Now we get word that France, this guy who finally... They think that they're saying is the favorite may win in May as president. Oh, gee, the, the grown. He's going to keep France in the euro. Oh, our stock market goes up 225 points. What does that have to do with with any of our stocks? But the our U.S. our Dow went up 225 points when the French stock market has nothing to do with Cisco or Dupont or Goldman Sachs, or Apple, or Boeing, or Microsoft, or McDonald's. It has nothing to do with it. And that's why I keep telling you, the market is engineered. But that's okay, as long as you're not listening to these people like Bernanke, or these guys on CNBC, or these experts. So the economy is moving in the right direction. Stock prices are rising, house prices have stabilized. The economy is getting better. That as earnings grow, as the economy grows, you'll get positive returns out of the stock market. As long as you got a chart and you just see the money going in and the money going out by the people who make the market go up and down, that's what will get you retired. That's what will create wealth for you. Try it for four weeks with me. Follow me, 877-600-GANG. Call now. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Billsgang.com. What are people saying? Hi, this is uh, Ron from Washington State, and I subscribe to the uh, Phil's Gang MV2, and I just wanted to let Phil know that uh, right after the election, I made a $7,000 profit using the MV2 on uh, Wells Fargo stock. Complete guidance and professional education for investors who want to succeed in the stock market. I've been in the financial business myself about 24 years, and uh, very much enjoy the song software program for the charts. I've been a long time uh, Phil subscriber and I just want to recommend it uh, to anybody out there. I think it's a wonderful tool and works very, very well. Don't wait. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. If you're looking to make extra income, if you're looking to pay off bills and plan for your retirement, then check out PhilsGang.com. PhilsGang.com is an online educational service that informs you, coaches you, and guides you on how to invest in the stock market. Get daily advice to buy stocks, short stocks, and learn when to get out of your positions. PhilsGang.com provides daily webinars, alerts, educational tutorials, and all materials archived. For more information, go to PhilsGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264.
Hi, I'm Phil Grandy, philsgang.com. Many of you do not have time to be in individual stocks. You don't have time to learn. Well, I have a solution. As I invest in my own exchange-traded fund, like the spiders, you now can follow me. Every time I do something, you do exactly what I do. It's a great opportunity. Join philsgang.com. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Hey gang, be sure to join Phil Grandy at Michael's on East in Sarasota on Wednesday, May 10th for an open discussion presented by Tampa's AM860, The Answer. Called Taking an Honest Look at the First 100 Days of the Trump Presidency. Phil will be joined by Mike Gallagher, Larry Elder, Captain Matt Bruce, and Bill Bunkley. The VIP reception starts at 5.30 and the main event is at 7 p.m. Again, that's Wednesday, May 10th at Michael's on East in Sarasota. For all ticket information, simply go to philsgang.com and click on the banner on the homepage. To be able to just get my son to St. Jude and not think about how we will pay for it, it just takes so much weight off of my family. St. Jude allowed me to focus on being a mom to Bryce. And sometimes I'm just in awe of the impact St. Jude has, not only on this community, but the world. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures, saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. Performing technical analysis is no easy task for any investor unless conducted with a professional stock charting service. At Phil's Gang, we offer a choice of high-power, color-coded stock charts, all seamlessly integrated, so you can tackle the market the way you want to. The Phil's Gang Max Best 1000 Stock Charts. From Phil's Gang are high-performance HTML5 web-based charts that work on any browser and device, so you can put live streaming data and fully interactive charts in the palm of your hand. Phil Grandy designed the MV software to have the best features, and so far the early reviews have been great. You can plot charts on an intraday basis as well as on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annual basis. There is also a built-in watch list that you can customize to your liking. For more information, go to philsgang.com, philsgang.com, or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264, 877-600-4264. Welcome back. This segment of the Phil's Gang Show is brought to you by the MV Stock Charts. For more information, go to philsgang.com. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. I really believe that my gang members and my listeners are very, very smart people. And I think you can understand, right? I want you to think about this for a minute. If the economy grew just seven-tenths of one percent, and how can we be the number one economy in the world? I heard that all weekend. We're the number one economy in the world. No, we're not. When we grow seven-tenths of a percent, we have the highest national debt ever at $20 trillion, the highest consumer debt ever at $60 trillion, the lowest labor participation rate ever, the highest unemployment ever, we have 104 million people out of a job. Are you kidding me? We have the highest credit card delinquencies, the highest auto sale delinquencies, on and on and on. The worst trade deficits, the worst manufacturing. Give me a break. And so this weekend, now we're facing, as I said, this the, not. Uh, oh, by the way, we dodged the bullet. We are going to raise the debt ceiling, and they're going to. They finally. Uh, they're going to uh, temporarily put up a trillion dollars, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, listen, listen to this about the deficit. Understand what's happening. Obama, on average, spent each year or about a, tw a trillion dollars more than he took in. Now listen to what Mike Pence says, Vice President. How are you going to pay for it? it yeah, how are you going to pay for all this stuff that you're going to do? How are you going to pay for it? It is going to increase the deficit. Everything you outlined will increase the deficit, period. How do you prevent that? Well, the only way we're going to meet the obligations uh, that, that we face in deficits today or long-term obligations in our entitlements, Chuck, is through growth. But you're not going to grow. 
You can't grow unless you get rid of debt. It's like your house. Go out today and borrow money on your house again. But don't cut any expenses. Your checking account is not growing. Your checking account and your savings grew seven-tenths of one percent this month. Now go out and you're going to borrow even more money. You're so into debt now, you're going to even go borrow more. And he says, well, we're going to grow. That's like your husband coming to you. Don't worry about it, hon. Okay, we, we, we owe half a million dollars. We're in the hole, but don't, I, I'm going to get extra work. I'm going, to, I'm going to get overtime. No, there's not going to be any growth. You've got to cut expenses. The wife should say to the husband, let's cut expenses. Let's get rid of that boat. Let's get rid of that ski dude, the snowmobile. Let's get rid of the, the Jeep that's got the big rims you paid $2,500 for. Sell the, sell the rims. Sell all your toys. You've got to get rid of the debt. Cut it. Pence is saying the same thing. No, we have to cut that. We're just going to grow because we're cutting. We're going to cut taxes for the corporations. Oh, really? And we're going to be so lucky to believe the corporations that they're going to take this money now and they're going to plow it into in, into their companies to get new equipment, build new buildings, so that we are we produce more, and so that our economy grows instead of putting it in their pocket and buy their own stock back like they did before. They're double-talking. What Pence is saying, oh, no, we're going to grow the economy without cutting expenses. You know, you know what he's saying? I'll tell you how, and he won't say it. What he should be saying is, I'm going to, we are going to do another quantitative easing. That's why we have wrapped our arms around the stock market. When the president was president-elect, and he said this was a fat, ugly bubble, and interest rates have been too low for too long. We've changed our mind because we're going to be spending double the amount Obama did, causing double the amount of deficits. We have to realize the only way we can do this is by doing another quantitative easing, keeping the stock market up. We can't let the stock market go down because it's going to kill, it's going to kill 10 million people that's got pensions. <laughs> we can't do that. We're going to let 10 million people in this country lose their pensions? We've got to get this, the, the, the pensions. We have to raise the stock prices so that the companies can recapture the $150 billion deficit. They got We've got to move the company stock up so they can get back that $150 billion. That's one reason why we have to do quantitative easing, which means we cut the rates, give money to the banks again at low interest, force everybody out of the bond market by buying their assets, by buying all the bonds. We're going to buy everybody's 10-year treasuries to drop the yield or the interest down so it's so unattractive. Everybody is forced. China is forced. Japan is forced. All countries are forced out of the bond market, into the stock market, pushing the stock market back up, and we're going to start buying not $85 billion a month like we did under Obama in treasuries. We're going to buy $160 billion a month in treasuries to push this stock market up, to keep this economy going so we can double our, our, our deficit. So you and I, okay, we're not going to listen to what they're telling us anymore because it's double talk. I can't believe I'm saying this guy loved Trump. But he is. How do you go from it's a big, fat, ugly bubble to it's a wonderful bubble, I own it? How, how do you go from that to it's a wonderful bubble to, oh, no, I'm not going to fire, I'm not going to fire on B because she kept rates too, too low too long, which killed our economy. Because when you have rates too low, that means there's no savings. And when there's no savings, then we can't loan to small businesses. If your local community banks, if people aren't putting money in to get savings... What the, who the hell puts their money into savings anymore? They take and they speculate. They, they try to make money somewhere. So there's no savings. Savings aren't rising. So you can't. we can't loan to small businesses because small businesses come to community banks, small banks in your community, to get a loan for inventory to expand, but we, could, we, but we can't loan them. We can't loan them because when you keep interest rates zero or lower, even, even at uh, 3%, or three, what am I talking about? Three percent, three tenths of one percent. We 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 can't loan your business. Go try to get a business loan. Small business. I have friends all over Sarasota own business. They can't get a business loan. 
They can't get a business phone. Oh, you can go get a you get you can go get a, 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 a loan on your house, but that's debt. So here's what we do: we're going to watch. And my gang members here, you want to join my gang and follow me? Eight seven seven six hundred gang that you call right now. They're standing right there, and they'll take your call. Join the gang for thirty days, thirty nine ninety five. Follow me. And if the S and P, the banks, you start seeing, the, we're going to start seeing the banks go up. If the banks start breaking out to new highs, then we know exactly what's going on. They're going to do a QE, another QE. And then if the banks lead, the stock market is going to lead. And even if he doesn't get his, and here's what I'm thinking: if he doesn't get his tax cut approval, and he doesn't get his health care uh, reform, what he'll do is some sort of tax cut. He'll do some sort of health reform. He'll put lipstick on both those pigs. So at least he can say, I accomplished it. So he's going to at least be able to go out and parade around and say, gee, I accomplished these things. I got health, I got uh, cuts, tax cuts. I got, uh, and, and, I, and I got new health care. But it's not what we were told. I'll bet it's nowhere what we were told. So let you and I continue to make money if the market goes up or if the market goes down. And I'm going to meet you on May 10th. If you're in, if you're in Florida, meet me on May 10th at, at, the, at Michael's on East here in Sarasota, where the VIP reception starts between 5.30 and 6.45. Main event, 7 and 9. Get your tickets. Go to philsgang.com, where I'll be with Mike Gallagher, Larry Elder, Matt Bruce, and Bill Bunkley at Michael's on East to answer the first 100 days. I'm going to be honest. I mean, I, I'm not a happy camper right now. And remember, remember that, that the whole stock market for eight years has been designed to go up. And it smells like they're going to do the same thing they're forced to because all these programs are going to cost us so much money, double the amount of money that cost Obama. We have no choice. So let's make money. The market goes up. We're going to be right there. I'm not going to take an opinion. So oh, this is bad. Look at what they're doing. They're pushing the market up. He's own, he owns the market. Isn't this bad when he said he wasn't going to? He's dropping interest rates on quantitative easing. I'm not going to say, well, gee, isn't that terrible? He dropped interest rates. It's a bad thing. No. Nah, the market goes up. We're going to be right there. market goes down. We're going to be right there. Join me. Follow me. The, follow me with the market using a chart. It works. See you on the chart. 877 game. You have been listening to Phil's Gang with your host, Phil Grandy, on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Remember to visit Phil's website at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or call the office. 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. It's up to me.